everyone welcome back to another one of my videos <sighs> god let me see if i can fix this a bit this is honestly the best i can do right now i haven't had time to film in the morning before work before construction this is just gonna have to do because i have no other time in today's video i am going over my like monthly finance reset what do I call these videos? I can never remember. I could not remember for the life of me what I call these videos, but it's another money diary video. I am done with work today and I'm just so tired. It's a Friday and I'm losing it really. So in these videos, I like to talk a little bit about my income, how much money I made, my wins, my fails, and how I want to improve for the upcoming month. So for the month of October, it was actually a pretty good month income-wise without me actually having to work as much. I worked an extra two days this month than I normally would, but got paid as if I had worked an extra four. And that's because in BC, there's two stat holidays that I get paid for because I am on a averaging agreement. In BC, what that means is I can get paid over time unless I go over my weekly allowance of hours I'm allowed to work. So there are some days that I could work more than eight hours and I won't get paid overtime. Whatever, it's annoying. Just read into your contract and your labor laws employment rules in the province state country wherever you're from just so you're aware but anyway i am on an averaging agreement and that means even if i don't work a minimum of 15 days prior i always get paid a stat day no matter what so i could work one day a month and because i'm on this contract i would get stat pay and stat pay is um we get paid eight hours i believe this is all bc labor laws <laughs> but basically i get like my a full day of pay on these holidays so i worked two extra mondays and then two mondays in these paychecks that i got were stat holidays so my next paycheck which i haven't received will reflect the stat pay uh, or the second stat pay but so far as of filming this October 24th, um, working as a dental hygienist, I have made a total of $6,302.36. And then I got paid out by YouTube. It's taken me two months this time to get paid out. And that's because I didn't post as much in September. Uh, it's my fault. Anyway, um, I got paid $148.62. I've also made some money off of interest in my high interest savings account. So total income comes to $6,463.06. So it's quite a bit of money than what I was making before, but this is with me just working two extra days this month. And then I'm hoping that my next YouTube payout will be more money. In terms of my wins and fails, this month has been quite interesting. <laughs> A lot of stuff has come up and is making me kind of rethink a lot of my finances in terms of what do I do to make more money because I have a big goal that I want to achieve pretty soon without having to go back into debt for. So in terms of trying to make more money, do I t temp more and put more pressure on myself or I don't know how to explain it, just hurt my body more <laughs> to make more money? Or do I try and play the long game a little bit, do more YouTube videos, try and make more money doing that way, but it's not like a guaranteed, I don't know for sure if I'll make the money and when. I just know I am making some money <laughs> and I'm very happy about that. It's something that I enjoy doing. I enjoy talking to you guys and having conversations when I can. I obviously still work a pretty full-time job and coming up with things to talk about and share with you guys is also extremely difficult. So do I do more damage, put wear and tear on my body 
or do I take a chance <laughs> and post more videos and try and make more content and make more money off my videos with less guarantee of when I'll actually make that money. I really don't want to burn myself out again like I did working five to six days a week for like half a year. I will say in general I'm feeling burnt out from working a lot and I would love to even go down another day so I'm only working three days a week but that's not gonna happen anytime soon. So yeah I have to kind of figure out an even playing field so wear and tear on my body or do something that's more fun and easier on my body but also mentally draining because of my imposter syndrome and just overthinking everything and not feeling like I'm good enough. <sighs> it's a lot to think about. My next reflection for my <laughs> month of October has been uh, impulsive purchases. I've been trying to kind of do a no buy that was my plan until i ended up buying a pair of crocs <laughs> and i impulsively bought them i don't know why i stopped myself for months like to not buy it and then i just bought it and then realized oh i forgot i said i was not gonna buy random shit anymore <laughs> So yeah, I have a pair of new Crocs that I haven't worn yet. I'm going to Costco after this, so I'm going to try and wear them there and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> yeah, I've been feeling very impulsive. That was one fail, a win though, yet it, it's there's a good chance it could happen still is I've been looking at the um, R... Oh God, I'm going to get murdered, decimated because I cannot say this word, Aura Ring aura ring gen 4 um i'm very into or i don't even know how to i'm sleep is very very important to me and my apple watch i just can't wear it at night to track my sleep settings and so this ring is something that people really rave about figuring out your sleep pattern and all this stuff about it um and also managing your stress so i've been trying to hold off until at least hearing the black friday sales but i've been so desperately wanting to know more about my sleep <laughs> that i have been just fighting the urge every day every minute to buy one that and also impulsively buy a camera <laughs> i have the money for these things it's not like i would go into debt for them they're just allocated in like other areas like I have a category that's just like $300 worth of house stuff and then I do have money set aside for a camera. So again, it's not stuff that I would go into debt for. It would just be me rearranging my budget around to move my funds <laughs> to make it work in my budget. And it's not necessarily stuff that I need right now other than the camera. I would like a camera. <laughs> If you haven't watched my last video, I talk about how to save for big purchases and buy them guilt-free. So essentially that's what I've been doing um, and I don't feel guilty if I buy them. I have the money. It's just I could save a little bit more by waiting for Black Friday deals. So it's not a if I'm gonna buy, it's a when am I gonna buy it. <laughs> so my ADHD brain just really needs to calm down. Um, it gets me most at night kind of when I'm tired and right before I go to bed that's when I make all my purchases that I'm not like a hundred percent sure why I bought them but yeah that's when that happens so that's kind of like a win and a fail I've stopped myself from buying the big ticket items but it weighs on me daily and it's really annoying because I don't want to be constantly thinking about should I buy this really expensive thing or should I not should I should I should I not la, 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 la. I'm still living and thriving well without it. I don't really need it. I'm just a very information type of person and I want to, I just want to have it basically is what I'm trying to say here. Oh my God, I'm falling asleep. I'm so tired. So yeah, my wins are making more money without actually having to work more. And then my monthly money fails are that I've been a little bit of impulsive with my purchases and I've had to kind of put myself on a no buy week month <laughs> and just really cut back 
I feel okay about my money this month. I do feel a little anxious about the future, but funny enough, I'm still almost done actually this book. 4,000 weeks, been reading it for a while. I've had to like reread certain parts over and over again to like understand it um or for it to hit home but or at least the part that i'm at right now is just talking about living in the moment and like why are you like worrying about the future when it hasn't even happened and just being present and yeah i'm just trying to be more present every day and be happy with not happy with what i have like more just enjoying life as it is now and not pushing that enjoyment aside and just being like I can have fun later right now it's the grind 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 well later's gonna come and I'm gonna be older and not be in my early 30s anymore and I just want to be having a grand old time <laughs> anyway I'll leave that video there for now let me know what you guys have been doing with your money your money diaries what's your month been like made any interesting purchases because I always like hearing about those <laughs> Anyway, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.